Shalom. I like to give praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makak Badash. Because praise is definitely, praise, honor, and glory are definitely due to the Heavenly Father and the Son. I like, I'm from the prophets in, prophets in Babylon, out of the Waco, Texas camp. Affiliated with the branch of Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. I'm the brother Atiyak Napash. I like to give a special double honors to the elders and apostles on down at Great Millstone. Those fine brothers who teach well and who rule well and great examples to us brothers out here. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Lesson for today is Stay in the race, no matter how hard it gets. And um, yeah, um, I was inspired by it on my, to do this video, you know, dealing with my own personal journey. And at the same time, um, listening to a video by um, one of the beloved brothers from the Saints of Jersey, I don't know his name, but I, you know, GMS Saints of Jersey, I urge any of you brothers who have, you know, to uh, follow that brother because that brother really be having some great edification, you know. And, um, you know, uh, he had a video saying that, you know, what was that? I guess it was a brother might have wrote in saying that sometimes he doesn't feel in the spirit. And, you know, sometimes those things, those things happen, but at the same time, you know, the brother said it, you know, at the same time, the brother said, even though I'm not always in the spirit, I still stay consistent and keep coming with the videos. You know, it wasn't the brother from the Saints of Jersey. It was another brother that wrote in about it, but you know, that's a beautiful thing that that brother no matter that he was kind of down in the spirit, that brother stayed consistent with doing videos and doing the things that were, were required, you know, that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah has, has uh, commanded us to do, you know? And so, you know, um, you know, going through what we're going through, we know we're here in the last days, we know we're on the verge of Jacob's trouble, you know, we see signs of, of Jacob's trouble happening day by day, you know, and, um, you know, brothers need upliftment, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's, you know, our job as brothers to um, come with edification as well as, as um, you know, uh, pushing brothers to keep going, keep going at it. You know what I'm saying? We all need it. You know, we all need it. There's, there's not a brother who is in this truth and knowledge that don't feel those times when it happens. You know what I'm saying? But it was beautiful that that brother was, was um, you know, to, for him to say that because every brother in this walk this individual walk that the Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah has us on feels that at times, you know? And, and you know, you're overwhelmed. You you got, um, you know, you're overwhelmed with, with all this wickedness that you're around, you know? You go, you have to work, you know, you're around it. Uh, some brothers may not work, but somehow or another that you know, get caught up in it because, you know, at the end of the day, we're living in, you know, Babylon the Great, the land of confusion. But at the same time, we have to always recognize that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah tests us, you know, test us to see how we, we how we gonna work, you know, how we're gonna handle things, you know, we're gonna call on, on the Heavenly Father, you know, which that's one of the things we should do, you know, and then there's times when you you feel an upliftment from the spirit. You know, 
you know, like I say, you know, your how about shim, your how about is, is a is a balanced power, you know. So, like I say, some days you you feel in the spirit, and then there's some days you you don't, and it, that's just how it is, you know. But at the same time, we have to still keep staying in that race, you know, to because because at the end of the day, that that goal is to uh, receive those crowns. You know, so without further ado, I have some scriptures and Lord willing, I hope it's edifying to you brothers and a few sisters out here. So I'm going to go into um, Hebrews 12 and I'll start here in verse one. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which thou doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Yeah, so we're in a race, you know. Um, but this race has to be, you know, we have to be patient in this run you know you don't want to be too fast you don't want to be too slow you want to keep a c consistent steady pace you know no matter throughout all the the negativity that you're surrounded around you know you know like i say brothers may have lost family some brothers may have lost their woman you know um um their kids I, I one beloved brother was saying earlier i was listening to him he said he's you know his his own kids are not even talking to him so you know things like that that happens you know and you can't say that doesn't bother that brother but at the same time that brother still should be commended because he's still pushing you know he didn't let that get in the way of this this truth and knowledge man you know he's still pressing on the brother's still out there on the highways and the byways and still putting out videos and you know, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing, man. So we just have to run with a with a uh, in this race with patience. And a lot of times things are not going to exactly go our way, you know. But it's the way of the way that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai wants them to go. At the same time, understand that, and you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing the videos. Keep. Praying to your how about shim, your how shop fasting, you know, um, you know all the things that your how about shim, your how shop commanded us to do. So I'm starting verse two, looking unto your how shop, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yeah, your how shop is the perfect example of how we should be in this this race. Who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne. So he endured all the, the insults, um, dealing with all these these people who, who despised him, you know, went through all of it, you know, gave his life. Slafia, and, 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 um, at the end of the day, he he went through all that he went through, and now he's sitting at the right hand of of, uh, of Yahweh, you know. So that's a beautiful thing. Verse three: For considering him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint. In your in your minds, yes, we don't want to be faint at mind, you know, faint in our minds, you know. We want to keep 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 pushing, no matter how much negativity, because you know Satan he comes with you know with the mind games and things of like that nature. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's goes without shame. Saying we still got to keep pressing and keep going, you know, keep moving forward. I'm gonna skip down to verse five. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. 
My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. So um, the things that we go through in this individual walk that every brother's in this body that, you know, that's going through, it's the chastening from the Lord, you know? Your how about shim, your how shot. So being that we are chastened, that is a good thing. I mean, at the, at the same time, at that time when it happens, it doesn't feel good, right? But at the same time, after you've gone on and you're endured it, what have you, you, you feel good because you know through the spirit that the Lord is dealing with you, man. That's another way of knowing that your how about Shem, your is dealing with. Because what you're dealing with is not what your average Jake is dealing with, you know? So that's a beautiful thing. nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. So sometimes the Lord may rebuke you, but that's, you know, that's, 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 you know, that that's still a good thing because that shows you that the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is dealing with you, man. For whom, verse six, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Verse 7, If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Yeah, so if you're being chastened by the Lord, you know, you're going through it. You know, a lot of times we be mentally tired, you know, or physically tired, you know, out here dealing with Esau, you know. You got to understand Satan is working for you. How about Shem, you have a child on the left hand side, you know? But that's, that's part of showing, you know, okay, what are, what are you made of? You know, your house I had to deal with it. And, you know, Job dealt with it too. You know, he's another example. Your house I dealt with it. And at the end of the day, he went through what he went through. And now he's sitting at the right hand of, 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 the, of the most high. So um, I'm going to go into another scripture here right quick. Uh, I'm saying uh, Matthew 28. And I'll start here in verse 20. Teaching them I started here in verse 19. I'll go in verse 19 of Matthew 28. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and in the Son and in, in of the of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always even unto the end of the world. Amen. Yeah, so even though we're going through what we're going through, we have Yahweh Shai right there with us, you know? A sincere brothers who are out there that, that go out here and preach and teach and, and do videos and, and, and praying and fasting and fearing and, and blessed to have that faith, you know, you go out here and, and, and do this work, man. You know, you do the things that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai has commanded us to do. So sometimes we go through it, you know, it happens. But at the end of the day, we still have Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai to fall back on. So Lord willing, I hope this was edifying lesson. And once again, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakratash. And a special uh, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who teach well and rule well. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom.